What are ROVs, remotely operated vehicles? I can tell you that in, oh, 200 minutes. What do they ROVs are self-propelled underwater vehicles that are linked to the surface by an umbilical. And the umbilical is used to get power down to the vehicle to operate it, to get control signals from the pilots to manoeuvre the vehicle in real time, and to send data from the sensors and instruments on the ROV up to the surface. So when you hear the words subsea robot, it's this sort of thing we're talking about. In the strict sense, this also describes things like crawlers and trenches, but ROVs mostly refer to free swimming vehicles. They can be described by size, mini, micro, um, the Akrovs around 200 millimetres or 8 inches long, Described by shape, um, vehicles used for following pipelines have more of a hydrodynamic shape. And one way of describing it is by observational work class. So observation class used for inspection, maybe assisting divers. So they've got lights, cameras, maybe a sonar to inspect deeper waters where visibility is limited. Um, they might have positioning devices, small gauges, probes, sometimes small sizes of virtue to get into confined spaces. Sometimes you need something a bit larger and more powerful to withstand long, uh, strong currents. Work class ROVs tend to be larger and more powerful because they've got to carry heavier tooling, cutters, grinders, torque tools. They typically have manipulators or grabbers to deploy this, these tools. ROVs might have skids to carry additional tooling, equipment or samples. Sometimes you can actually add skids to observation class ROVs to sort of make them work class ROVs. And sometimes the two work together. You might get a, an observation ROV being able to fly out of a work class ROV to provide additional imaging. Another way of classifying ROVs is to divide them into electric and hydraulic. Both types are fed by electrical power through the umbilical and this electricity powers lights, electronic equipment, the control systems, but in some, electricity also powers a hydraulic pump and this distributes hydraulic fluid around the vehicle to power manipulators, tooling, importantly the thrusters. Now at one time all work class ROVs were hydraulic and they could do 90% of subsea intervention work, but not anymore. Electric ROVs are cheaper and take up less desk space. So what happened was that companies started adding more and more tools to the electric ROVs to increase the capabilities and make them compete with hydraulic vehicles. And this meant adding hydraulic circuits to electric ROVs and the boundaries started blurring. It's a bit confusing. Having a hydraulic circuit on an electric ROV doesn't make it a hydraulic ROV. It's all to do with propulsion. If the ROV has hydraulic thrusters, it's hydraulic. If it has electric thrusters, it's electric. We'll look at the different types later. If you want to know more about subsea engineering, read UT2 or UT3, the magazine or online magazine, the Society for Underwater Technology.